what's up guys it's Mike here again and I'm back with another design tutorial so in this tutorial we will be going to create a flat portfolio design so as you can see right here on my screen this is the final design we are going to make so on the top part we have the header area as well as the banner section or the welcome section and when we scroll down we have a services se section for web design mobile and photography and on the third section we have a portfolio section which is everything is flat the MacBook here is flat as well as the buttons and on the last section we have a contact section which which is showing our social media that we are joining for here we have email Facebook Twitter Instagram and dribble also I have provided two portfolio design for you first one is something like this it's like a grid of images showcasing our portfolio and each image have its own icons to represent what is that kind of project for here photography here is web design and here is mobile design and we have this as you can see we have a controls to navigate so without any further say let's go ahead and let's get started first one I would like you to download all the resources I've provided you can check it on the links so first one we're going to we're going to locate it going to minimize this and on the resource I have this 960 grid dot system so go ahead and go to templates Photoshop and hit on 960 grid 12 call so we're going to open this next one we're going to change the canvas size so control alt C and hit this right here and make it 1600 and for this time maybe 2800 so something like that make sure it's on pixels and show the rulers by pressing control and colon or semicolon on the keyboard and also our color scheme will be using for this tutorial will be So just a demonstration, we're going to use F8 for two, for two, for our, the red one, a flat red, and two five, two five, two A, this will be for the buttons, and the other one will be E5, E5, E5 for the light background. So this will be our color scheme. So this is the scheme. We can hide it. We can actually use this as the foreground and this will be for the background. For the meantime. So first we're going to do is select rectangle tool and create a rectangle 1600 by 660 so align this by pressing this one and it is properly aligned so another thing is we need to create a new document we will be creating a 
6 by 6 pixel this will serve as our baseline grid so what does that mean is it will help us align our text properly as well as other elements so just use rectangular marquee tool and six by six and zoom in and just a one pixel selection and fill it with red make sure you unhit the background or hide it and go to edit define pattern and name it six by six baseline grid and we can close it now and right above this layer right here are let's name this header and baseline grid fill this with a background and change the field color to zero and apply a pattern overlay and locate the one we just make so something like that you can see we have this grid right here we can lock this so that we we will not move it and for the meantime let's hide it so now let's start placing the elements so for now i'm going to grab the logo i made for myself so you can place your own logo or anything so I'm just going to import it something like that so feel free to create your own or if you have a logo just place it so now align this as you can see on the baseline grid align this 60 pixels from the top I think yes yeah, 60 pixels from the top so as you can see it is on the right grid baseline grid here and also for the bottom if we're going to place another element we're going to have the same margin which is 60 pixels so grab the ruler and place a guide right here so now that we have that we're going to place our navigation so what we have on our navigation home services portfolio blog and hire me so create a new layer name this navigation the size for this is 16 pixels and make sure you have then downloaded the OpenSense font and make this home make sure it's white so home services portfolio blog home and the distance on each links is 40 pixels so by pressing shift and the right arrow key it will create a 10 pixels margin so one two three four and that will make 40 pixels so home services one two three four home services I think it's portfolio portfolio one two three four blog and hire me hire me and you're going to align this again as you can see we have a baseline grid 60 pixels from the top we're going to align it correctly like that
and we're going to align the navigation links based on this grid so something like this will like that will do and for the this links we're going to group this normal and change the fill color to 60 60 and for this home this will be the active or the hover state zoom in and we're going to place a underline which is using line tool create a line and change the fill color to white and place it four pixels below one two three four and that will do in the header section so make sure it's in the inside next one will be the welcome section so as you can see hola this is the heading and this is the text so for the heading, we're going to make it light and the font size will be 72 pt. So hola and turn on the baseline grid and place it over right there. something like that and I think we need to double the spacing so 60 pixels again and place it right there I think that's good so next we're going to place this text hola I'm John Doe a Philippines or what we can do it's let's just copy this one and place it right here so grab the text tool and on this alignment place it something like this like that and for the spacing for this is one two three yes so by holding shift and up arrow key I mean down arrow key starting from this baseline here like that press it three times one two three so as you can see it is properly aligned and the line height for this one you can view it right here so the line height is 36 so now that we have it, it's time to place the button. So for the button, it's very simple. Create a new layer and group it button. And make the open sense to bold and the font size to 16. And let's make it what's the text we place in view my work. So view my work easy as that and so here is my the way I create a button I can press control T to transform and I'm looking at the information panel the current width now is on 112 so I'm going to add a padding on left and right 20 pixels 
so that will make it 152 pixels and in height I'm going to stay with 44 pixels so grab the rounded rectangle tool and the set the radius to 2 pixels make sure there is no stroke and for the fill color let's make it what's the fill color again this color so change it like that and make this 152 by 44 place it below the text and align it by selecting both layers and use move tool and on the options panel click this one that will perfectly align and let's place the button starting from the baseline and hit six times the down arrow key one two three four five six I think we did it do we so let's examine this 60 60 72 and this is 22 as well one two three four five so maybe we just miss the spacing there and for um I know it now so for this one one two three four five six and for the button we're going to move it 120 pixels below so it's double the size the spacing place it right there and let's see if we have a right spacing here So we're going to adjust this to make it 120 like that and just resize it something like that so so that's it for the header area and the banner and what we can do is to add something on the background so as for me I'm from Philippines the I'm going I'm going to plan a silhouette of a popular place or common in Philippines which is the Luneta Park so on the resource I provided it so download it or anything maybe on your country if you're from Paris you will use the Eiffel Tower so for this one I'm going to go to desktop on portfolio resource and open this bad boy here so what I can do here is I'm going to duplicate this go to the red channel and I'm going to go to image adjustment levels I will pump up the white and the black so something like that and going to copy this control shift C to copy merge and head over to this right here and for the base going to paste it now I'm going to resize this one something like that place it over right there so by selecting this layer right click and create clipping mask so now it's mask on our base layer so we can move this and still on the right place and then position it something like that 
and I'm going to make the blend mode to multiply so the white will hide and the black will reveal and I'm going to set the opacity to about 20 or 15 something like that and actually we can blur this up so image oh, I mean filter blur field blur so it has something on the background maybe 5 pixel so something like that for me is good or maybe a little bit of blur filter blur maybe 2 pixel So, damn, it's lagging too. Going to filter, blur, field blur. Just two. Okay, and that will be enough on the header section. Next one is the services section. So create new layer, group it, name it services. And for this time, we'll be placing the services. So web design, mobile design, and photography. So I provided a resource also, which I forget to download. So by going to recently close, go to, so I've recently closed these tabs here. And from Victor Erickson, make sure to follow him on Dribble and go ahead and download this free, I love the icons. So, so make sure to follow him. We're going to locate this attachment. Going to place this on the desktop resource and open it on Photoshop. So bring the browser right here. Duplicate. Uh, so right click, duplicate, design. Another thing is the mobile. So duplicate layer, going to design. Oh, I think it's on line 60 grid. So I've mistaken on that one. So 960 grid and the last one is for photography, so camera. So we can close this now. So where are they? So here they are. We're going to change the color to this red right here. Place it. Turn on the grid. And for the browser, so 32, we resize it to. What's the size we've given here? I think it's 48. Yeah, 48. So for the browser, resize it and make it 48 pixel. Like that. Do the same for this iPhone. So 48. And for the camera. Now the, that we have it, align this. We have a three columns, so we have four, eight, twelve. So four columns each. So browser, 
phone so one two three four right here camera will be one two three four one two three four one two and camera is here and the alignment is 120 pixels grab a guideline and place it right there for the browser make sure it's centered on the grid so using the rectangle marquee tool and going to move tool hit this I mean this one align as well as here and do the same here for the camera now let's place the heading and text so web design mobile design photography and for the color for that will be one 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 and the size will be 24 so web design just place it here turn on the baseline grid because it's very helpful so maybe something like that will do go ahead and duplicate it by pressing control J so for web design group this web next will be for the iPhone which is just make this mobile mobile design And for the last one, photography. So it looks good. So mobile and photography. now we need to add a paragraph so the font size for that is 15 pt and the color will be 66666 and place it right here and go to type paste or ipsum let's see so about four lines of text and for the line height of this one so by selecting all and going right here we can adjust it and we're going to make the line height so on the this baseline grid let's adjust the line height to make it like that so it is aligned properly and so let's erase something like that make this a period and delete everything mm, something like that and place it below one two three duplicate it let's create a read more link read more and change the fill color to red did I make it the same color as this yes just to size something like that and place it one two three four five six 
yep. Or maybe just three. One, two, three. Something like that. Let's see how it looks like without the grid. Yeah, looking good for me. Maybe regular. Or maybe light. That will do. Duplicate this. Place it on mobile. Holding shift, move it. Do as well on photography. Control J to duplicate. Place it there. Where this is. So what we do now is turn on again and create a 120 pixels. So 120. So you can see it here or here. So now we have it. Let's go ahead and create another group and make it portfolio. So now we're going to use this color scheme, the E5, E5. Hide it and create a about six or maybe just this one thousand six hundred by six nine six six nine six. What the hell? Place it on the center. Forget to switch the foreground color. So something like that. So for the first portfolio I'm going to show you is this one. So we have this first web designer and or maybe we I can just duplicate the text so it will be more faster and you, I can just walk you through it. So duplicate this group and go to 960.js and let's see if it's on the right position and make make it one two three four five six or 120 just measure it 120 so it will be more easier for you and for me so that's it for the text and for the text is it's 36 pt the color is the same 1111 and this little date here is 13 13 pt and the color is 90 and for the text is the same 6666 15 pixels and the distance is again 3 pixel I mean 3 press of down arrow until it will align with the baseline grid the same as here 3 3 and for this one it's 11 PT the color is, is the same with the date and the font here is 6666 still the same here designer and tools photoshop it's the same and for the button let's create that one so what's the text view project so create a button and the text will be view project make it bold and make it white control T to show the size of the width so 88 plus 40 pixels that will count as 128 so 128 by 44 and change the color to this bad boy place it over the top aligned it and 
make sure to align it properly with the baseline grid and hit six times one two three four five six and let's measure below again 120 pixels 120 like that and background yes we got it right turn off now it's time for the macbook pro so what i did is go ahead and go to our resource folder so this is comes from the apple website so this is the macbook pro so it's i think it's copyrighted by them but i think there's there's nothing wrong with it if we will be using it as for our personal work i mean personal project and make it flat so i just created right here macbook and as you can see right here without these layers this is the macbook what i did first is using rectangle tool i trace it right that and also place guidelines on each corners right there so using rounded rectangle tool about 20 pixels in radius created the shape so just make it something like this and so for the fill color I will just I'll just leave it like that and do the same on the this frame another frame and make it something smaller something like that so you have it and for so just to show you so here and this one so it's darker so the color scheme for this right from the swatches panel I think this is the color for this one for the base this right here and for the frame it's this right here on uh, the third palette before the black and for the screen it's white using rectangle tool so that's how you do it and do the same as well on the bottom part so for the base so what you can do here is what I did is from rounded tool I set the ranges to 2 pixel and then on that base I created something like this one and I will just align it oh So what I did is like this. So I make it like that until I reach the corner. Right here. then what I do is let's redo it something like this so like this and just place it control T and transform it like that this will be for the front one and for the base one duplicate this and add using pen tool so I mean on the direct selection tool select this so it will rebuild the fat path and add a using pen tool let's add another point 
use the direct selection tool again and move it like that so as you can see it follows the grid you can do the same here so pen tool add a point move it down something like that and for the fill color to demonstrate for the base I have this one C2 C2 so here this color right here available on your swatches and for the front I have a E1 E1 I think it's on the third part right here and for the grip opener on the center you have C2 C2 so the same on the base and you will have this complete MacBook Pro a flat MacBook Pro so where is this one just delete that and you have something like this and select all and make it a convert to smart object then duplicate it on our 160 grid now we can resize this bad boy and we're going to place it like that so something like that and make sure it is aligned on that one and resize it maybe this right here make it 130 something like that and align it again right right there maybe let's increase more the size to reach this right there and what we can do is grab a screenshot so let's do delete the layer mask and duplicate this to our 960 grid now we can place it right here so something like that and just mask this right here Control Shift I to inverse the selection and mask. Oops, did it wrong. Just hit mask. Why? Control Shift I, mask. And that will do on our portfolio section. That is easy, right? So that's how we do it. So for the version 2 of this one, as you can see right here, what I did is just to show you. I'm going I'm not going to walk you through it on doing all of this stuff. So just create a shape something 310. You can see my alignment here. So the spacing is 10 pixels. So 310 on the small blocks and for this wide block is 310. So double the size. So 310 plus 310 plus this 10 pixels that will count as 300 uh 610 in width 
but the height will stay the same and for this full width and this big block here that will be 610 by 610 um, and 640 by 630 and what you can do is just play some screenshots and for the and for the font here so I'm I'm using Helvetica for this one but for this computer I don't have it so yeah and for the icons still the same and the width for that is the original size so 32 by 32 and place it on the top I mean in the bottom left corner so 20 pixels 1 2 and 1 2 1 2 1 2 and for this right here the color for this is e5 e5 and the same hover state basically it's four lines and see one two three four going to code this we can navigate this bang 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 and that's it for the portfolio part next is the this part right here say hello 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 so what we can do is turn in again the baseline grid and let's create another from this part 120 now that we have it we can now create another folder and name it contact for that contact we're going to use this font size here 72 open size and you can say hello make it one 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 72 open signs light it's light it's good it's light and align it like that and change the hello to red say hello uh, yeah and then a period and for the text is the same 15 and the color is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 6 6 and I'd love to hear from you or we can say project in mind I'd love to hear from you does that make sense and then place it again one two three so that's it now create another guide maybe 120 again is it 120 yep it is then we're going to create a group again and social icons and for the and each of background will be 120 and make it e5 e5 so five of this duplicate it and the spacing is 10 so move it like that that like that and create another 
and make this 120 now we can place our copyright text right there so copyright jando so copyright 2013 jando all rights reserved period make the jando bold and make it one two three four five six so so to emphasize the name of your portfolio let's turn off the baseline grid see how it look so it's looking great and then go to icon monster and search for mail so I think this is the mail icon I downloaded and turn off the ad block if you have that extension and refresh and we are go we're good to download this and place it here and resize this bad boy to 32 pixels I think let's see if it's 32 or I think it's 48 yeah, something like that right, align it change D color overlay to this one with the red color and do the same for Facebook Twitter this Instagram and dribble so to make it quick I'm going to duplicate this group to show you and raise it right over there can delete this now so just to make this tutorial quick and there you have it let's see and we can resize now so something maybe we can so from this all rights reserve ruler tool turn on the baseline grid and hit on till you reach 120 120 grab it Grab it there, resize this, and there you have it. You have a nicely laid out flat portfolio design which is very hot now on the web design industry. So flat everywhere. So I'm going to provide a PSD for this one. For the this version and this version so that's it guys and I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I see you guys on the next one